Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman Lower Season 2. Today we're going to be talking about some new photos and new promotional material that has been released for a new episode which will air on April 26th, so that is in just two weeks time from now. This episode is titled Bizarros in a Bizarro World, and this is obviously coming on a Tuesday night. So I'm very excited to talk about this in today's video because it has some very interesting things that we need to break down. So without further ado, if you do go ahead and enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so sorry for the lack of uploads over the last week or so. I've been extremely busy, I've been filming and so I've been on set. I haven't been able to actually come home and properly record videos as I normally would, however I do finish tomorrow and I can confirm yes, the live stream is going to be happening and yes, there are going to be daily videos back to normal starting from literally tomorrow. So excited for that, hopefully you guys are and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's topic. We're first going to be breaking down the synopsis to give you guys a little bit of a teaser of what's to come and to set up the photos that I'm going to be talking about later in this video. So it begins like this, a cautionary tale and it's in backward letters so they just reversed it. And so it goes like this, Superman races through the portal after Ali Alston, but when he arrives on the other side he discovers everything on this parallel earth is bizarre. Well, you kind of knew that, but anyway let's continue on from that navigating his way through familiar faces and landscapes Superman goes on one wild ride in his fight to stop Ali from merging so basically what we're going to be seeing in this episode is Superman on that other earth we're going to finally see Bizarro's earth we've seen snippets of it every once in a while every few weeks or so every few episodes However, we've never fully explored this world and with Superman in there and obviously that's where we were at in the last two episodes because at the end of the episode before last, Superman went into the portal and last episode Superman was missing. We got like one shot of him at the end of the episode and this is where we're going to pick up from and we're going to be seeing him navigating his way through this kind of familiar world but it's all backwards, it's all very bizarre as they say in the synopsis. And so he's going to be going through Smallville and even Metropolis. We know they did some shooting in Vancouver and whenever they show up on the streets there, they're normally shooting Metropolis. So you can imagine that he's going to be visiting Metropolis at some point. And so then on the other side, on our Earth, I'm not sure if we're going to get that much in this episode. I guess there is always the chance that that is going to be some sort of parallel story that they've set up for this episode, maybe seeing them try to find where Superman is and try and find a way to safely get into the Bizarro world to get him out. But for now, this is very interesting and this gives us lots of opportunity to explore the history of this Bizarro world. Okay, so let's move on to the photos. Now these photos are very, very exciting for anyone who is a Superman Lois fan, but just anyone who is an Arrowverse fan as a whole. So let's go ahead into why. Well, let's begin with this photo. So this is on Bizarro World, you can tell. Chrissy looks completely different, like her hair is different, just her old attire. Basically, I think a big theme of what the Superman Lois costume department did on Bizarro World is literally make everyone kind of like punk rock, kind of like goth in their get up and their sort of looks. And so here she is with Lieutenant General Mitch Anderson, he is in some sort of bar with her, I would presume maybe it is the diner, maybe on Bizarro World, because like I said, most of the stuff is in Bizarro World. It's weirdly exposed this photo, I don't know if that was done on purpose or not, but basically that is them in the daylight, basically just talking about whatever's going on there. So I wonder why they're talking together, what this version of Chrissy is like in Bizarro World. And is this our version of Lieutenant General Mitch Anderson, or is it his other half? We'll have to wait and see. Let's move on to the next photo. So we got a photo of Superman. He is greeting some fans in what looks like Metropolis. We've got young Jordan and Jonathan in the background looking all goth, looking emo. And they very much so fit this kind of bill of everyone dressing like that. 
and so it's very fun to see Superman actually greeting fans but what is most exciting is this look at this shot right here this photo we have Lana Lang who is returning in this episode as not her normal self but as Superwoman or the evil Superwoman as we've been calling her and so here she is fully suited up she is returning we knew she was coming back like there was no way they just created that costume and they were like yeah let's not bring her to back and especially because we're exploring Bizarro world she is still a threat it seems like she is one of Bizarro's greatest threats actually on this world so she could definitely turn out to be a difficult physical opponent to be for Superman and so this is something that I've been waiting for because I was super excited when I first saw her and it was such a short scene that was like damn I wish there was more and I kind of knew there was going to be more and very happy to confirm yes it's going to be happening in this episode because you can see in this photo here she is fully suited up as the evil superwoman as I've been calling her anyway let's move on so talking of set photos and what was released in the past we have some photos of Jonathan in his kind of Superboy getup. That's what we're calling him. He's like a proto Superboy. And he looks more like the Superboy from the comics, although very, very emo and very goth. And that's just, you know, the whole kind of vibe that they're going for in this bizarre world. And so his emblem is actually the House of Owl, and it's not flipped or anything. So I wonder, this is definitely not our version of Jonathan, but. In Bizarro World, when we're there, is everything flipped back to, like, normal? I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see when we actually get there. But it looks like there is, like, some sort of blood dripping off of his emblem. And so it's a very curious kind of twist on the normal Superman crest. Very much so excited to see how he plays into this episode. Especially because our version of Jonathan is completely different. And it's very curious that in the next photo, here he is literally standing in front of Lana from Bizarro World and as far as we know Lana from Bizarro World is bad because she was fighting Bizarro and Bizarro is supposed to be the good guy right so has Jonathan turned size is that what we're seeing he goes against his dad obviously that being Bizarro and he sides with you know the DOD and Superwoman and Ali so is that him betraying his family? I think that very much so could be a storyline that they go down in this episode because it seems he is very rebellious and why else would he be with the evil Superwoman? And it looks like in this scene they're being confronted by Lois. Lois is here and she is wearing like a wig or she's just basically looking very goth again like everyone else and you know kind of caked in this kind of black get up attire thing like even just look at her makeup look at her hair look at her jacket it's all black and everything is very dark surrounding her let's move on to the next shot this is of superman again greeting fans as he gets out of his limo with his family and everyone's freaking out like you can see in the background everyone's taking photos everyone is super excited so as far as we know this is bizarro and this is not our version of Superman. So it seems Bizarro in the past did look like Tyler Hoechlin's Superman. And he also was good and he was very popular on his Earth until something happened. That something that happened is probably something to do with Ali that made him turn the way that he became. Kind of this disgruntled version of Superman, this opposite of Superman, despite being so similar at first. Yes. His family and his lifestyle is different from the ones that they lead the more secretive lives on our earth. However, here they are very open and so it's like a completely different type of Superman. So it's interesting to see how he becomes Bizarro. That is definitely one of the things I'm most looking forward to finding out in the next few episodes. Okay, so let's move on. We have Jonathan as he talks to Lois and General Lane. And this is again on their earth so on bizarro world and it looks like she is confronting jonathan i'm not sure what about however it does seem like superwoman at least works for the dod in this instance considering this looks like the same room that we just saw her in and so you can presume that she's not just showing up out of the blue and that she probably has a plan of what she's doing and she eventually switched to the dark side i guess you could say 
But let's move on to the next photo, this of Lieutenant General Mitch Anderson. He is here, he is caked in this kind of warm light, and so I presume this is just, you know, some sort of scene in the middle. And even matching that, we have a shot here of General Lane and also Emo Jordan from Zara World, and they are there presumably talking to Lieutenant General Mitch Anderson. I wonder if this is our version of the character, or is this a completely different version from the past. Okay, so the final photo that we have is of Superman's cape on the left side of the screen and the whole family watching, that being of course Lois, Jonathan and Jordan, and they are all looking very chic, looking very cool, especially Jordan and Lois, they look really cool. But that's pretty much it in regards to analyzing this. I think the most exciting thing here is definitely Superwoman showing up again, because we all had lots of questions about how is she going to show up, when is she going to show up, and what are we actually going to see in the storyline as Bizarro World continues to grow even beyond Bizarro. So that does it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos, and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.